I guess it's been a while since I've had s'mores, now that I'm thinking about it. I go camping every year, but I don't usually bring s'mores with me, because, I mean, with a beard like this, eating a s'more is just asking for trouble. I said I'm just... Oh man, we have such a tasty sounding strain to check out today, team. Given to me by the people at Sacred Gardens and grown by the people at Captain's Pink. Today we're checking out a strain called K S'mores. S'mores! Who the heck doesn't like s'mores? Some nice dark chocolate with the graham cracker and a nice marshmallow just warmed up on a campfire. I mean... I am so excited to check out this strain. I don't know what the K stands for though. Maybe it's like a K-pop Korean s'more. I don't know. I'm not going to try and guess. Because we have the flower. We could check it out right now together. So the first thing we got to do. Let's see exactly what this K s'mores looks like. And as we can see. Beautiful looking nug. Compact and dense. Doesn't really have any stickiness to it, but does still have a little bit of humidity left. Great trim job. I don't see any extra leaves on this beauty. And has like a a base of green, but has some like bluish purple spots speckled. Beautiful looking nug. Darker orange hairs, small dark orange hairs. I do see some outside trichomes. So overall, beautiful looking nug of K s'mores. And like, I don't know what it smells like. Sitting it in my hand just right here, I'm getting like earthy, gassy smells. But I've never had a s'more that smelt like gas. So let's break this nug open and see exactly what this K s'mores smells like. So right here, we're just going to break it on open hopefully you get a good shot and you're not just staring at my face there that's going to be the inside of our k s'mores so let me give it a whiff it smells like gas team why on earth would k s'mores smell like gas oh super pungent strong it's like a gassy herbal earthy not really getting any like berry sweetness not really getting any like candy sweetness from the chocolate or from the marshmallow not really getting any doughiness from the graham cracker really just getting a strong herbal gas smell so not a hundred percent sure why they would call it k s'mores I mean, I've never, I guess it's been a while since I've had s'mores, now that I'm thinking about it. I go camping every year, but I don't usually bring s'mores with me, because, I mean, with a beard like this, eating a s'more is just asking for trouble. So much marshmallow just gets stuck in my beard, and once it's in there, it's stuck there for the entire weekend. So usually I stay away from s'mores, but this bad boy right here... I'm actually getting, it's still going to be mainly gas, but I'm getting like a tangy, wouldn't necessarily be able to say I smell s'mores, <coughs> excuse me, but beautiful, gassy, tangy, herbal, strong, strong smell coming off of this case s'mores, really hope that it smokes half as good as it looks. Because so far, my only negative is going to be it's a little bit drier than I would like. Not pulverized, turn into powder dry. But do always enjoy a nice bit of stickiness. And this flower definitely could use a little bit more freshness. Still has some nice humidity though, as you can see. Beautiful fat patty just falling in our paper here. So definitely still has humidity. It's not going to be dry by any stretch of the imagination. But I like doing my sticky test. I like when I could kind of pick up the nug with just one finger and hold it there for a few seconds. And this case, s'mores is just a little bit too dry to be able to do that. 
Still beautiful to roll up, still sticks exactly where I want it to be, so do appreciate that. But so far my only negative is going to be a little bit drier than we'd like to see. And I guess I'm kind of disappointed that I don't get any direct s'mores. I don't really get a, uh, a chocolate graham cracker, a marshmallow melting on a campfire type terps. I'm getting more strong, herbal, gassy, tangy terps, which is very, very pleasant. Don't get me wrong, but like, I was definitely looking forward to some s'mores terps, some Korean pop s'mores terps. But still, some gas is very, very nice. Can't wag our finger at some gas. Did that make sense? Can't wag our finger? Like, don't, don't do this at some nice gas. It's still some nice flour. So let's light it on up and see how this bad boy smokes. First, let's just pack up the tip and give it a good chance to burn. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm a little higher than I usually am. And that's because I got a new seat. I have this little kind of bench thing that I'm sitting on right now. So it's bringing me a little higher. So the shot's gonna be a little different. Hopefully it's not too, too annoying. Where is my lighter? Oh, here it is. So let's take a dry hit. Mmm, gas. And I'm getting like a tangy, almost berry after it. Very, very cool. Still wouldn't be able to say I taste s'mores, but I'm definitely enjoying the dry hit. So let's light it on fire, team. K s'mores given to us by Sacred Gardens and grown by the team at Captain's Pink. Cheers. A lot of herbal on that first puff. Little bit of scratchiness on the end of the exhale, but not a crazy amount. A little tingle, a little kind of, like a little tickle, a little tickle at the end of the throat. Not a crazy amount, as you can see, I'm not coughing every puff but definitely gonna have a little bit of a tingle. That taste though, such a strong, gassy, herbal, exactly like the smell. Every puff, just a huge, thick cloud of smoke and a heavy terpene cloud on the exhale. <coughs> Does have Like I keep saying, does have a little bit of scratchiness, little bit of irritation, right? Like halfway through the exhale. The inhale is going to be smooth. The inhale is just big, thick cloud of smoke, tons of gassy, herbal, tangy terpenes. But right at the exhale, there's a little bit of scratchiness, which is going to be unfortunate because, I mean, I want a super smooth, like, butter like vaporizing type smoke and this has got as i keep saying tiny little bit of scratchiness on the exhale now usually when i smell gas when i taste gas it generally means body sedating relaxing buzz and that's pretty much what i'm getting from this case s'mores there's a little bit of heady euphoria, a little bit of scrambling the brain, but mostly it's just going to be heavy sedating in the body. My eyes feel like they're getting just heavier and kind of fuzzy. So definitely going to be more of a relaxing, heavier, nighttime sedating buzz. This bad boy definitely isn't giving me any energy. Definitely isn't making me want to kind of get up and go for a run. This is more of a relax end your day, watch a movie type of buzz, which is perfect because I got no plans today. So let's take a quick look at the ash, see exactly what that has to offer. First, let's fix it. 
there you go so as you can see going to be a bit darker than we'd like to see a lot of pepper in that salt and pepper nice consistency but definitely would appreciate if it was cleaned up a bit we do have a beautiful greasy resin ring though look at that puddle of a resin ring hopefully that's coming out okay and zooming in properly because that resin ring is just nuts all the way around again wouldn't mind if that ash was cleaned up a bit take out a little bit of that pepper and make it more salt but that resin ring is a thing of beauty so I mean maybe that answers why we have a little bit of scratchiness in the smoke the cherry isn't able to get hot enough to burn everything off so it does leave a little bit of speckled darker spots on there but the taste is absolutely beautiful strong gassy herbal tangy and the buzz just a strong heavy relaxing end your day type buzz that's definitely going to be my favorite parts of this batch of case more is the smell super strong the look absolutely gorgeous great trim job super dense nug was a little bit drier than we'd like to see. I wouldn't mind a little bit more humidity, a little bit more stickiness. Um, the ash, definitely darker than we'd like to see. A little bit more pepper. The smoke did have a little bit of scratchiness. So considering all that, I'm going to have to give this batch of case s'mores given to me by the team at Sacred Gardens and grown by the team at Captain's Pink an 8 on 10. So that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time. And as always, peace and love. Cheers.